When starting out on the data analyst career journey, we are constantly told to learn these hard technical skills like Python and SQL. While these are important skills to learn, aspiring analysts should learn how to use this tool called Excel. How many companies do you know use Excel as part of their daily operation? My guess is a whole bunch. Excel is a spreadsheet tool that you would see used everywhere unless your company is one of those that uses Google Spreadsheets. Why God why? It is so versatile that you can do things as basic as data entry to advanced stuff like automation through BBA macros. I would usually see being proficient in VLOOKUP and pivot tables listed as advanced skills. What's funny is that VLOOKUP isn't even advanced. If you have any experience using Excel, then you would know that VLOOKUP isn't advanced. In fact, VLOOKUP can't really be considered a good option anymore due to its limitations and that XLOOKUP and index match are way better options. Being proficient in Excel is often seen as a prereq in analytics. Think about who your main audience or stakeholders are. Are they people who have a strong technical background in Python or SQL? Or are they people who just want to see an Excel file with some fancy visualizations and the table containing the data? In fact, if you worked as an analyst or worked at any office job, how many times have you been asked to send or export the data as an Excel file or a CSV file that can be opened in Excel? For me, it's a lot. Well, that's because opening an Excel file and looking at the worksheets are easy things that non-tech savvy people can do. It allows us to easily communicate the data with each other and allows the end user to apply functions or formulas they might already know into the Excel file. There are even certain industries that use this Excel as part of the backbone of their work, such as the finance industry. Microsoft has been constantly evolving the software application throughout the decades ever since Excel came out for Windows back in 1987. We went from having a row limit of little over 16,000 to being able to store millions of rows of data into the data model through Power Query. And soon enough, Python for data analysis will be integrated into Excel ever since Microsoft announced support for the programming language back in 2023. You can even use certain Excel features and functions to help you better understand some SQL concepts later on. SQL has a bunch of these aggregate functions like sum, average, count, max, and min that also appear in Excel. So let's say you want to ag aggregate your data by categories like teacher salary by department. You would use a group by statement in SQL while in Excel, you can use the pivot table or use the upcoming functions like group by and pivot by. Want to extract, transform, and load large datasets into Excel? Then use Power Query. The point is that if you're completely new to SQL and you're having trouble understanding certain concepts, then you can try to relate the problem back to Excel and see how you can approach it from there. If you've never programmed before, then you can start learning with VBA before Python. Every programming language uses a similar foundational concept like loops, conditional statements, and arithmetic operations. The good thing with VBA is that it is easily accessible as long as your company uses, uses Excel and didn't disable in any macros. All you have to do to get started is press Alt F11 and you can start coding right away. The issue with Python is that it can be very difficult to get approval to use from IT security or upper management. Data visualization is also a key part of data analytics too. The most popular data viz tools we see are Power BI and Tableau. But did you know that we can create charts in Excel as well? Although not as fancy as the business intelligence tools, as long as we can get the point across to stakeholders, it wouldn't really be a big deal. You know, one of the benefits of learning Excel first is that it can easily integrate to Power BI since both are products from Microsoft. If you're just starting out in analytics, then definitely get a very good grasp of Excel first. It is used everywhere by technical and non-technical people, and you can even use it as a bridge for learning other tools like SQL, Python, and Power BI. If you want to improve your Excel skills, then definitely check out this video I uploaded last week, where I talk about how you can create your own custom functions and use them in any workbook. If you guys found this video to be helpful, then please leave a like and comment down below what else you'd want to see. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.